The University of Oklahoma Health Science Center, Alham Diabetes Center, is started back in 2008 from the former president of the University of Oklahoma and Harold Hamm, who got together with the legislature and felt the, the pressing need for a diabetes center. The rates of obesity and, and type 2 diabetes in the, in the country are increasing dramatically. Oklahoma particularly has problems with that as a consequence of the Native American population where it's a particular issue. The Harold Hamm Research Center provides funding to study the mechanisms of disease through basic science research but also clinical and translational research so that we can identify um, interventions that show the greatest promise for stemming the obesity epidemic. One of the other things that the Ham Foundation has allowed us to do is to give away the largest single prize for diabetes researchers in the world. And so it brings us together with international experts and brings new ideas into Oklahoma. This is a great time to be involved in research in this area because I think there's so much work to be done and we need to be able to intervene to be able to make lives better. One of the things I'm really excited about having joined the Harold Hamm Diabetes Center is the ability to recruit national experts in diabetes through the, the Hamm Center Endowment. We have a number of well-qualified people who are coming in to gear up to, to form a core group of metabolism experts here in Oklahoma. We've been given the opportunity to fund pilot grants, team science grants, um, equipment grants, all the kind of things that are really hard money to come by have been granted to us here, but it allows us to do many more things in the, in the laboratory that we couldn't do otherwise. With our team science uh, initiatives, we've tried to connect our clinician researchers with some more of the basic research uh, faculty uh, within the Harold Hamm Diabetes Center. These unique partnerships have allowed us to take what we see in the clinic and in our patients and get back more to the mechanism right there at the bench with the help of the basic scientist. Well, the Harold Ham Center has helped in a number of different ways. They were integral in the development of, what, of our metabolic research center that exists um, in the o OU Children's Physicians Building. This is a location where we are able to study body composition of, of babies and children to be able to determine you know, percentage fat compositions. We can evaluate the character of their blood vessels in terms of how elastic they are, which is an issue with the development of high blood pressure that even begins as early as childhood. From a clinical standpoint, we are involved in a national study called the TODAY study. The TODAY study, which is the treatment options for diabetes in adolescents and youth, has provided the only cohort of youth onset diabetes that's ever been collected. And from this we have seen that half of them fail therapy within the first two years of life. This is prompting us to further trials to see what we can do to preserve their beta cell function and prevent the complications and comorbidities of diabetes in this unique population. In addition to in-depth cellular and human translational studies, we've been given the opportunity to develop many clinical programs here at the University of Oklahoma Health Science Center. Whether it's a cooking class or a diabetes prevention class or a transition from teenagers to adults, all of that is part of the Harold Hamm Diabetes Center and it really underlies what we're trying to do. If we can make a difference both in the community and in the laboratory, that will elevate our status nationally at the level where we need to be to really try and be at the forefront of conquering problems that are uh, in diabetes and chronically here in Oklahoma. As a society, we need to focus on improving nutritional practices across the lifespan. Studies have shown that diets of 18-month-olds are already high in sweets um, and low in fruits and vegetables, and so we need to focus on reversing that trend. So the Nutrition Kitchen is awesome because it feeds into the need of people who have been diagnosed with diabetes but don't understand how their metabolism works. So if they can understand what foods they eat and how it impacts their body, they can make healthy choices and then live a better life. In the maternal fetal medicine section, we're excited about the new direction of the Harold Hamm Diabetes Center, uh, focusing more on uh, the first thousand days. I've spent a lot of time in my career understanding the impact of nutrition on development of metabolic systems in newborn babies. So that would be 
Everything from the stem cell to fat cells, where they develop and how they develop, to the microbiome. The microbiome is where your nutrition and your gut interacts. And understanding those interactions in that naive first thousand days of life will give us a window into how nutrition can impact the microbiome and therefore impacts relative risk for type 1 diabetes as well as type 2. Partnering with the Harold Pam Diabetes Center, Neonatology and Pediatrics, we'll be able to address these problems from a research perspective in a, in a more multidisciplinary way than we previously have been. So I think in a year from now, when if you talk to me, you're going to see uh, a real growth in in terms of what we're doing here in Oklahoma in the metabolic arena during this first thousand days. Really excited about that opportunity.